So today we're going to be going over what has become one of my favorite leather and cardamom fragrances I've ever smelled. This one is African Leather by Mimo Paris. So I've had this one for quite a while now, at least well over a month. Been able to test it, wear it multiple times. I didn't do a first impressions on this one, unfortunately. I wish I would have because when I first smelled this one, I was blown away. But I've had plenty of time to test it and review it. And man, I have a lot to say about this one. African Leather beautiful fragrance. I'm going to be reviewing this one. I'm going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately if I think this one is worth picking up. And I do want to let you know this one was sent to me by Twisted Lily. Worked with them many times in the past. They're a great niche fragrance boutique. If you do want to shop with them and grab a fragrance like this one, you can use my code CHAOS10 to get 10% off site-wide. It's a great way to save yourself some money and get a nice discount on something like this one. A lot of times you can't really find these discounted. You're just paying retail. You can use that 10% off code CHAOS10 and get this one for a nice deal. So let's go and start off with how this one smells. When I first spray it on, what you get right up top is this nice oriental, spicy, sexy cardamom note. And following that is this nice, smooth, sexy, but also kind of rugged leather underneath that cardamom opening. There's a little bit of cumin up top adding to that spicy kick. It's not too strong, it's not too overpowering. Some may not like that note, but it's really kind of subdued here. Primarily for me, the cardamom is what takes the forefront there in terms of the spiciness. There's a nice green, earthy, and slightly sweet patchouli that you start to pick up on moving into the mid and into the base as well. And that, of course, is still following behind the leather. And that cardamom spiciness does stay through as well. You'll find maybe a little bit of a sparkling geranium in here, just giving it a touch of this minty green kick, although not very much. This is primarily a warm and spicy fragrance. Not a whole lot of freshness out of this one, which is what you would expect. Oud is listed as a note in this one, although I really don't pick up on too much of an oud. Maybe a little bit of a woodiness, and if it is oud, it's a relatively mild oud. This isn't anything that's going to be super hard to pull off or anything like that. Again, what this one's all about is that leather and cardamom for me, and that nice patchouli in here as well, giving it that nice earthy, spicy sweetness. From opening to dry down, this is a stunner. I still remember the first time I smelled it, I was so blown away. I've wanted this fragrance for such a long time. It's always been one that's on my radar, primarily just because it's pretty well regarded in the community. A lot of people talk about this fragrance and enjoy it. For the longest time, it was just one that I wanted, but just didn't want to spend the money on. You know, you can get this one at Twisted Lily, use my discount code, but it's still going to be a relatively expensive niche fragrance. They have it for 300 plus my 10% off code, so you can save some there. It's not going to be a cheapy, but what you're getting from that price is great quality, great performance, which we'll talk about, a great blend of notes, and just something that you really haven't experienced anywhere else, and something that you wouldn't experience from a designer fragrance or just something that is a bit more inexpensive. There's a bit of a sexiness about this one. There's a bit of an alluring touch. It's just spicy, it's inviting, it's warm. It's got this masculine type of feel to it, something that you could wear dressed up and you know for an evening out, maybe to a nice dinner date or something like that, or just in a situation where you want to take control, you want to have the attention on you, you know, you want to be in the spotlight. Just something where you know you really want to make a positive statement and have people wondering what you're wearing and turning their heads because this is unlike anything they've ever smelled before. In terms of seasons, really fall and winter time is going to be your best bet for this one. You could probably wear it going into spring as well. Again, it is pretty heavy. It is a warm, spicy, so the cooler months are the way to go in temperature controlled environments. It could be pulled off in the summer as well, but going out during the day wearing African leather may not be the best idea. Let's go ahead and talk about performance. Longevity on my skin is around that nine plus hour mark. So one that will last you through the whole day and keep going after that as well. This one is an eau de parfum concentration and it behaves as such. You know, it really has that strength and that lasting power. A lot of that's coming from the heavier notes used in here, that patchouli, that little bit of oud in the base, and of course the leather is, you know, all of those notes are really adding to really stay on your skin and last throughout the entire day. Heavier fragrances like this will tend to do that more often than brighter, fresher scents. And again, what I like is that cardamom spice lasts from the opening even into the mid and dry down as well. Another one of my favorite parts about this one. Projection wise, it does push out pretty good. Just in the beginning of the video, I sprayed it on the tester strip and you know, I can get whiffs of it without having to bring it up to my nose and smell it. If I waft it like this, if I just leave it down here, it will come and go. Of course, it's best to experience up close as well. You really get that spiciness, it really hits you. 
but it also smells great in the air. If you give this one time to linger, if you wear this on your skin and people follow behind you and just catch the trail, it's gonna smell heavenly. A lot of that's because the spicy kick will be less prominent in the air. You know, if you smell it up close, or you give this to someone and have them smell it up close and they aren't super into fragrances, they may be off put because it is strong. You get a lot of that spiciness. But you know, in the air, when it has time to kind of diffuse and settle down, you get a lot more of a creamy sweetness and it smells so, so good. Surprisingly, it's a pretty good compliment getter. Again, works best in the air. If you spray this on and have a girl smell it right up on your neck, not gonna be the best move. Give it time and give it room to work and breathe and this one, will pull some amazing compliments. Very sexy, very alluring. And I find that projection to be very good for that. You know, it does push out when you first spray it on. It leaves that nice trail. After a couple hours, it will start to die down and become maybe a bit more of a personal scent, but it will still be announcing itself. So it's not super loud, super obnoxious, but it also does get the job done. And really, it finds a nice balance. You know, with the trail that it leaves, that's really all you need. And this one does leave a sexy trail. And I've already kind of touched on this, but compliments wise, this will be a surprisingly solid compliment getter. Again, it's not gonna be for everyone. It's not gonna be in the category of a blue fragrance, but it is gonna be something that intrigues people, especially someone who isn't really super into blue fragrances. You know, if it's a woman that likes maybe sweeter fragrances or, you know, spicier, warm fragrances on men, you know, she catches this one in the air, she's going to be intrigued versus, you know, women who like the more fresh, clean scents, they may not be down for this one. So you have to keep that in mind. It's not going to be some compliment monster, holy grail. But if you're carrying yourself with confidence, if you're dressed in a nice way and you're wearing this one out in the fall and the winter time and you're giving this one room to breathe and work, it'll do pretty well for you. But you got to keep in mind at the end of the day, that's not what we buy niche fragrances for. When you're buying something like this, you're buying it to experience for yourself, which is highly worth doing. You can get a sample of this one on Twisted Lily as well. So if you don't want to quite blind by yet you can grab a sample there and again my code will work for samples as well chaos 10 10 percent off they carry samples of a lot of other niche fragrances as well but it's a great way to try it first and see what it's all about quality wise on this one is phenomenal the blend is excellent when you first spray it on you don't get any sort of alcohol you don't get any harsh edges you don't get any sharpness it's just sexy warm inviting cardamom and leather right off the bat it skips that alcohol blast that you get from some cheaper designer fragrances out there and you just get right into the good stuff such a great blend very smooth very high quality smells like a niche luxury product and that comes across in many ways from just how different and unique it is but also the quality and just also how it behaves on your skin you know this one really is a confident scent and it pushes out just enough and it lasts just a long enough time to really get the job done perfectly so i'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this one up my final thoughts on african leather beautiful fragrance one that i've wanted to try for so long and now that i've had over a month to really play around with this one and test it i've fallen in love i go back to this one so often love that cardamom i love that leather such a great blend this stuff here is addicting and i'm so glad to have it around so that's gonna do it for me guys thank you so much for watching and again thanks to twisted lily for getting this bottle out to me if you want to grab one for yourself hit the link down below shop with them you can use my code chaos 10 to get 10 percent off if you see something else that catches your eye, you can grab it from there as well. That code will work for anything site-wide, including those samples. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.